We have uh, typical laboratory, we have the mass spec, we have liquid chromatography, we have IR, we have NMR, all these different things to basically determine what it could be in our product. Identification of the polymers, uh, identification of various uh, chemical analytes, all of that is here. So we can take a package and break it down to its basic components but figure out what it is. You have to look at the package itself. How is it going to be used? Is it going to be used in a microwave application? Is it going to be just refrigerated? How long is the shelf life? That's important because that tells you how long you need to do your migration study. It also tells you at what temperature you need to do your migration study. The other part is what kind of food is going in there. Is it a fatty food? Is it an acidic food? Is it an aqueous food? The more fat in a food, the more things migrate into it. We will have a formulation that we want to be using food packaging. I will take a look at that formulation and identify things that could potentially migrate in from the package. So I'll have a list of analytes. I take those analytes and then I look at the toxicity that's associated with them. And I will set a detection limit based on that toxicity. The less toxic it is, the higher the detection limit can be. Something like a carcinogen or something like that that might come out. We're looking at part per billion level, part per trillion levels that we may have to detect. So I assess what we need to look for and set a level for detection for that. If we see something that's migrating higher than that detection limit or that level of concern, then we have an issue. We, we may not be able to sell into a certain market as far as the food is concerned. We may be limited to just an aqueous type food rather than a fatty food. All that is based on the toxicity of the material and how much comes out of the package.